Today we're making quite possibly the best and easiest chocolate cake recipe you'll ever have. And it also reminds me of Matilda, which makes it that much more amazing in my opinion. So let's get right into the recipe. To begin, we're going to start off by adding in all of our dry ingredients into a clean bowl. And we're going to mix that all together until well incorporated. And then we're going to add in our wet ingredients. You initially want to start off with your milk and your egg and then roughly mix it together and then add in the rest of your ingredients. Now you don't want to over mix, so just whisk it together until it's nice and smooth. And you want to add your batter into two six inch prepared baking pans. And we're going to bake at 350 for about 35 to 40 minutes. While our cake is baking, we're going to mix together our ganache. And all you need is a half a cup of chocolate chips as well as one cup of simmered heavy cream. And mix it together until it's smooth. It might take a minute or two, but once it is smooth, you can set it to the side. I like to set mine in the fridge because I like it to be more stiff. Once my cake came out of the oven, I allowed it to completely cool and then I trimmed off the top layer to make it nice and straight. And then I smothered it in my ganache and I topped it with some raspberries as well as some cacao nibs and you're done. Today we're making cheesy garlic bread with homemade french bread. And if you want the french bread recipe, it will be in my next video, but let's get right into it. To begin, you want to cut your loaf in half and set it to the side. In a bowl, you want to add a half a cup of olive oil, three tablespoons of grated parmesan, three tablespoons of fresh minced garlic, a tablespoon of thyme and oregano, and lastly, a half a tablespoon of red pepper flakes and mix everything together. Go ahead and grab your bread and you wanna brush your olive oil mixture right on top. Then go in with a layer of mozzarella cheese and add your bread to a prepared baking sheet. Top with some more red pepper flakes and parsley if you'd like, and you wanna bake at 350 for about 10 minutes or until your cheese is completely melted. You can also broil it if you'd like as well, but we're done. Today we're making zlatan and olive oil bagels because the chef requested them, so this is how you make them. You want to begin by mixing together your yeast mixture and letting that rest for 10 minutes, and then after your 10 minutes you're going to add in the rest of your ingredients and knead your dough for 10 more minutes. You can also knead your dough by hand by the way, I just used the mixer for the purpose of a faster video, and then you're going to add your dough to a lightly floured surface, separate it into about 8 to 10 dough balls and let that rest for 10 more minutes. Now shape your bagels into your desired shape and then you're going to let them rest for another 30 minutes and then after your 30 minutes you're going to boil them in a pot of water and a quarter cup of brown sugar. Add to a prepared baking sheet and drench in olive oil and then you're going to top it with zatad as well as kosher salt. Bake at 395 for about 15 minutes, cover with foil and bake for another 10 minutes, serve however you'd like and you're done. Today we're making mozzarella stuffed rosemary pull apart bread. It has this beautiful parmesan garlic butter mixture brushed on top and I can't wait for you guys to see how I made it. You want to begin with 2 cups of warm water, 2 tablespoons of active dry yeast, 4 tablespoons of sugar, 2 cups of AP flour, and 3 tablespoons of dry milk. Mix and cover with a clean towel for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you want to add in 3 more cups of AP flour, a half a cup of olive oil, 2 teaspoons of kosher salt, as well as 2 tablespoons of rosemary, and you want to knead your dough for 10 minutes. After those 10 minutes, go ahead and add your dough to a lightly floured surface. You should be able to create about 12 to 15 dough balls. Stuff each one with your mozzarella cheese and make sure to pinch them close tightly because you don't want the cheese to ooze out when you bake them. Add to a prepared baking pan and let them rest for another 10 minutes. Brush on some egg wash and bake at 365 for 20 minutes. Take out of the oven, cover with foil, and bake for another 10 minutes. Here I have butter, parsley, red pepper flakes, parmesan, and garlic powder. I mixed it up and brushed them on my final product and I was done. 